Well, Sunday afternoon, I gotta do afternoon chores. Sawyer went to Ames to celebrate one of his buddies' 21st birthday, so I'm choring. I wish I could spend the night up at Ames. If you stay out, you don't need it. Nope, 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 nope. Duke loves to help. I always get to about this time of year, and you look down, we cross off the days, so you kind of know where you're at. There's only two months left, and if you're like me, you get to this point, and you think, man, I didn't get near as much done as what I wanted to get done this year, and this year went really fast. And the older I get, the faster it goes. And my dad told me that, and I rolled my eyes, because I was always waiting. When I was Sawyer's age, you were always eager for the next thing, and you couldn't wait for this to happen. You couldn't wait to that for that to happen. Now, now I'd like to slow down a little bit, but just keeps rolling, so gotta make the most of it. We'll get a brand new calendar, make a big list. Next year, next year we're gonna get a bunch of stuff done. We got quite a bit done this year. Moved, I moved into my dad's house. Sawyer moved into my old house, building a hog building. We did a lot of stuff, but there's always more stuff to do, it seems like, so we'll give it the college try and make a plan for another year. Takes me a while to get changed. I'm not as fit and trim as I used to be. What are you doing? You know what he's thinking? He's thinking, boy, if I can just get one bite. All right, go get a snack. Go get a snack, boys. These pigs, they're really growing. My dad used to sort pigs with a coffee can. So back when you had what they call a Tamworth cross pig, their nose has got pretty big. And actually, I think it was one of the neighbors, but they always said the way they sorted pigs was with a coffee can. If you couldn't shove a coffee can over their nose, they're big enough to go. That was back when the lard market was pretty high. I let these all out this morning when I was here so that they clean the alley. I don't like it when you get a bunch of manure build up in the alley. In the summertime especially, we keep them, we let them run about once a week because that manure that builds up, that's a good place for you to get a bunch of flies. Flies will lay eggs in the manure. It's a good incubator. Next thing you know, you got a bunch of flies. So anyway, we let them run and that gets them cleaned out. So I'm gonna lock everybody up. So fun time's over. It's time to get back to eat. Come on, knucklehead. Let's go. Fresh meal. Oh yeah, everybody loves it. Whoa, you really want to get them going. Give them a little boo-hoo. Oh, they love that. They love that. These pigs are feeling good. It's like a racetrack. If I don't get knocked on my arse, it'll be a miracle. Clean as a pin. I mean, not a, not the cleanest pin, but pretty clean. A lot cleaner than it was. See you Monday. Well, it's hard to get ahead of the Amish. I didn't even think that they were coming today. And here they are. They got about a third of the north half of the building. These trusses are two pieces, so they'll set one side and then the other, but they already got half of them up. We're gonna have to hurry up and get the time lapse set up. Good morning everybody. Today is a big day. A lot's going on and there's a lot to show you. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you can see, something looks a little bit different. I don't know, can you guys tell if there's anything different with this building? I don't know, I'd see a little slight change, but not a whole lot. Oh, and also the generator's here. That's our backup generator for any time that the power goes out for some reason. We got a backup generator on hand. So this is pretty damn cool. A lot has changed since the last time we were up here showing you guys around. Uh, we didn't think they were gonna lay trusses today because as you can see, there's a little snow on the ground. It snowed this morning and we, were, we weren't thinking they were gonna come, but by golly, they showed up. Who's that goon on there? I don't think he is a trained ballerina. Help me. I don't know how he got up there, but I don't know how he thinks he's gonna they get down. They put me up here, now I can't get down. It's a good thing that I was a gymnast. So yeah, a lot is going on. Right now they're framing the office. This is where the office will be right here. Putting up trusses, putting up whiteboard, all that stuff. There's probably 
10 to 15 people on this crew right now working, and they all have different jobs assigned to them. It's not because they don't ever bother doing anything. <laughs> Can you walk across a wood plank and nail into it at the same time without losing your balance? Because I don't know if I could. That kid's pretty damn good at it. They can shoot them damn things faster than I've seen anybody be able to shoot them. Pretty impressive. One funny thing that I just kind of learned just now, and I don't really know a whole lot about Amish culture, but these guys just told me, is the guys that have a beard are the ones that are married. And the guys that don't have beards, they can't grow one until they get married. So. You can't grow a beard unless you are married, so. I didn't know that. It's pretty interesting. Oh, you know what? Maybe they shift it with that styrofoam. It's not a pallet of GPS. Styrofoam, but they could throw the screws in there, but down there, I'll get it right up. Torque to the rescue. You coming to the rescue today? Huh? You coming to the rescue with the, yeah. desk, with the screws? Shout out to the best job supervisor ever, Jason, coming in clutch, bringing the screws, for the steel because we didn't have any screws and if we if we wouldn't have gotten them we would have been screwed very impressive day for a lot of reasons i didn't expect this to all get done this morning when i saw the snow so we got that done and mckay showed up and he actually did something so i mean i'm gonna buy a lottery ticket when i get done today i just happen to be at the right place the right time. you're the glue that holds the whole operation together yeah that's all the star part. That's all they brought to my house. There wasn't any out there. Yeah, the yeah, other. There, I think there's a bottle. I thought so. This crane's showing up to lay some more trusses because we can't lay the trusses where the cistern's at because the telehandler won't reach it. But got a little bit of an issue. It got stuck. Might have to go get the tractor pull them out. Who knows? We'll have to see. Deal. It's a little muddy out here, guys. The rain and the snow, this this weather, I'm just not ready for it yet. I don't think any of these guys are either. You didn't send it enough, or you sent her a little too hard? Yeah, I don't think you can send that thing too hard. Tell the handler to the rescue again. Hopefully, we don't end up here. What do you bet? Who that he makes it? Do you think he's gonna make it? No, he ain't what gonna do you make it. You think he's gonna make it? No. I don't think there's no. any I don't chance. think Big Blue's very big right now. Oh! Never doubt Big Blue. Yes, you never doubt Thank God, Big Blue made it. So now they're gonna use Big Blue to put the trusses up on this side. To any of you that were wondering how many trusses it takes to do one of these buildings, there's 52 trusses total and 104 halves. So they cut them in half and put half on that side and half on this side. Each half a truss weighs 400 pounds. So 800 pounds total per one truss. It's a lot of trusses and that's a lot of weight and that's a lot of work. Well, not there. 
What are we talking about? A window. Where we want the window in the office? Where are we gonna have it? Right here. It's tucked oh, back. Oh, like where it is at the other site? Well, it's not even there. It's further over. Oh, like where the medicine the cabinet is. That way? Yeah. Well, we don't use it anyway. I don't know. Do you want one in there? In the office? Oh, yeah, sure. I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I want one. What are you doing? Probably right here, I think. Right here. Right here. That's where we want it. Where's my guy? Where's Sweet? Right here, please. Open that window right here. Barely big enough to even see out of it. My gosh, we got one. Like County. I think you're just like, you're walking fast. That's about what you were. guys build a jig and they're framing every one of these gets put up between two trusses and that's the framing for the inlets where the air inlets are so there'll be two rows of air inlets in each room and so in cold weather when we aren't running the tunnel curtain and all the big fans we'll bring our air in through the attic so there's there's soften on both sides and air comes into the attic and then it'll come down through those inlets and this is the frame that they're screwed to and before they put the inlet up they'll wrap that with aluminum so it'll be the same color as the ceiling it'll look nice and then they caulk them when they put them in but anyway that's what they're doing right now so there's 44 inlets in the building 22 per room and each inlet is uh, about 26 or 2800 CFM. They'll run either 26 or 2800 cubic feet of air per minute. And that all, that all gets tied in. They calculate that by how much fan power you have and how many fans you're gonna run before you go to tunnel. But anyway, that's the, that's the hot number. The one thing that impresses me the most is how they keep these hoses untangled. They have these air compressor hoses running everywhere, across the trusses, across the ground, everywhere. They're literally scattered all over the place, and I don't know how they keep them from being tangled up, but they must they must know exactly how to do it and the right way to do it. I tried to convince PSI that we were sure to hold buck of this because this is by far one of my favorite products. Sawyer's Garage is lined with this. Um, Part of our machine sheds lined with this. Can't remember what else is lined with this, but this stuff is fantastic. So it's plywood, and then it's got a layer of basically PVC plastic laminated to it. So you can wash it down, and when you put it up, you cock these joints and you put a strip over it, and it's waterproof. It is the best stuff ever, only I don't have any more of it. I was trying to hook or crip my way into some more, but they seem to keep pretty good tabs anymore, so I don't think I'm gonna get any extra. How you feel? How's it looking? I feel great. We got it going on. They they are making, they're making good time. If you would've asked me this morning at six o'clock when I was drinking my coffee, if we were gonna get these trusses up today, I would've said, not a chance, but they got up and they got after it, and they're really getting it done.